Keep watching Charis TV. Hello viewers, my name is Salome Machusa. I come from Mosina. I first heard about Charis from watching public channel on DSTV and my husband also came for one-on-one -on -one in 2017. So I also love to come. Now I had the privilege to come myself and see the Apostle myself. What made me to come here is because of seeking a better job. Because I studied at University of Limpopo from 2010. I graduated in 2012. And since I was applying, no job, no interview from what I studied. So I thought to come and seek the face of God and know what God is saying about my future and my career and moving forward uh, about my job. Today I got the opportunity to meet the servant of God for the one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, while entering the office, I greeted him, he greeted back, and then he asked me if I'm fine. I said, I'm fine. He said, are you sure you're fine? And I, I said, yes, I'm fine. Then he started to talk about the issue that uh, there's something moving in my tummy and whether I feel that and I, I told him yes I do feel that there's something that moves in my tummy now and then then he said that's th that's one thing that he's supposed to pray for me about and he also told me that you are also here about the job and I was like yes because it is exactly what I came here for I, I didn't even know I had a health issue when he mentioned it because I only came here because uh, of the job because I wanted to know about a new job in uh, in what I studied. Then he told me about that and he also told me about uh, my my kids. He asked about my kids. How many kids do I have? I told me I have two. And he told me that uh, the experience that I had while giving birth to them, because they were very, there were so many challenges while giving birth to my kids. The, the, the first one, when I gave birth to him, they were even thinking I must go for a cesarean section, but it was too late because the child was already near. So they had to find other means. They performed vacuum on him for him to come out. And he was very weak. So they were saying there's a spirit of death uh, that wanted to take those kids away from me. Uh, when I had my second child, it was through operation. I was praying not to go through operation, but I, I had operation while giving birth to the second one. You can move out. Move out, but don't forget to finish. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I think that's the best solution. Mm -hmm. The way they're opening, you know, it's like this lady now, she came to the family to divide you people. I'm telling you. And this lady, she doesn't have a problem. Now she decided to keep quiet. Mm. You understand? And hold herself to a point that she's in afraid to go to the kitchen. <sighs> this is not good. So what we can do, you know, go out. Mm. You know, when you are there, you see, you even spend less. <laughs> <laughs> To save money, and she will be getting a job in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going to pray. We're going to pray for her. Mm -hmm. Come. Out. The name of Jesus.
the name of Jesus. servant of God mentioned these issues I was very shocked because they were exactly what I came here for and you just hit right there I was very shocked and it is it was also a confirmation that my breakthrough is here I've got it I would like to encourage everyone who also like me is seeking a job because there are so many graduates out there we are even settling for any job that comes our way because we are financially not okay and wanting money that we must hold on God's time is the best God will give you that job you must hold on keep praying keep believing keep trusting God that he will do it for you just like he is doing for others, he will do it for you.